<laughs> Hi everyone. Today we are going to continue with our manifestation techniques. I am in Florida. I had hoped to like talk with you in the outdoors because it's so beautiful here, but there's some leaf blowing going on. So instead, welcome to my bedroom. <laughs> Now, here's the thing. Um, I have been, thank you for all the comments and the emails and the messages and the questions. What's the deal with manifesting? I'll tell you, it comes down to three things, attitude, gratitude, and action. So look into your life and see what it is that's missing or what would be fun, what you desire. It could be anything from you know, most commonly more money, a nicer place to live, nicer clothing, uh, the love of my life, more friends. These are the most popular things to manifest or a vacation. You know, I want to travel to a place. Um, I want to get another college degree, you know, things that seem like they're not part of your everyday life, but you would like them to be. So look at what it is you want. And, you know, as we talked about, start off with little things that are inconsequential because you, and I'm saying want, not need. You know, you want it to be to, this would be so nice, not if I don't have this, my life is in ruins. You know, oh, I'm so lonely, I need friends. Well, if you are emotionally despondent, then it is really hard to manifest with the lovely, happy stuff. So, you know, again, always practice with little things that are meaningless so you can be neutral, emotionally neutral on up to really, really happy. So look at what it is you want and then look in yourself. What is it that's keeping you from having this? Release the emotional, the psychological part of that, and then become in harmony, in resonance, in frequency, in alignment with what you want. Then you take some action. You know, there's the old joke. There's this uh, fellow who's like every day praying, oh God, please, oh God, please, let me win the million dollar lottery. Let me win every single day praying, please God, today, let me win the million dollar lottery. He never wins it. He dies, he goes up to heaven. There's God greeting him. And he's like, God, come on. Every day I prayed, please let me win the million dollar lottery. I prayed and prayed, never got it. And God said to him, yeah, it would have been helpful if even just once you bought a lottery ticket. So, but, you know, um, whether you believe in God or not is irrelevant. That joke cracks me up every time because people do say to me, Bonita, I manifested and manifested. I'm like, and what did you do? No, I spent three days just sitting and manifesting. I'm like, but what did you do? It is really helpful to take action because then your actions can be blessed and guided to your desire. So what are some actions you can take? Um, if you want more friends, then find ways of meeting people, which while you're manifesting, this will allow your angels, your guides, the benevolent frequency of our planet to help you be guided to, or help them be guided to you, you guided to them so you can meet. And you will be amazed with how you go someplace, like, like I'll be like, oh, I wanna make friends, I wanna make friends. You know, like I just moved to Maine, I don't know anyone. Of course it's, you know, COVID time, so that's extra tricky. I want to make friends. And then like I see an advert, uh, a guided group hike. I'm like, I can do that. It's actually really close to me. It's a trail I've been wanting to go on. And everyone can be like, we're outdoors, you know, and we can be COVID safe and I can meet people. So I went on a guided group hike. Like I put out, I wanted to manifest something. And what I wanted to manifest came to me. 
but I had to take the action then of going on the hike. And then on the hike, I met some amazing people and I made friends. So this is what I'm saying. Attitude, um, you know, wishing, having your best attitude and taking action. So today, think about something like what would be nice in my life? So how am I blocking myself from this? And then what action can I take to go towards it without thinking, oh, it won't work. No, your attitude. Again, it's all emotionally neutral to joy. So um, if you want to meet more people, you know, find some activity, even if it's online on Zoom, you know, a meetup thing. If you want more money, take a look at other people who have skills that you have that they're banking in on it. And you're like, but I can do that. So why are they making all this money and I'm not? What actions are they taking? What marketing, what promotion, you know, are they doing that they're successful where I want to be successful? Research how people who are the same as you have a level of success you desire. Do your action, your research, your due diligence to see what you can do. You may think, well, they have a stronger self-esteem than I have. Maybe they don't. Maybe they just went forward with action. Maybe they manifested. But again, attitude, gratitude, action. If you can't have gratitude for what it is that you like want changed, look to where you do have gratitude. Take a look and say, what am I grateful for in my life? Because you spend so much time focusing on the things that are stressful and anxiety that we forget about all the things that are lovely and beautiful around us. So feel where you can have gratitude. An example of this is like many of us feel like we wish we had more time in our lives for ourselves. You know, like, especially when I was a single mom who ran my own business, I'm like, oh, I need time for me. So I'm in a checkout line and I'm going to be standing there for 10 minutes. I'm like, oh, good. I have 10 minutes for me. This is my time for me. And for 10 minutes, I just space out. And when someone says, oh, miss, you want to come over to this other line? I'm like, no, I'm standing in this long line because this is the only me time I'm going to have all day. And then, you know, I was um, driving with a friend and I was driving. My friend was a passenger and we hit, you know, some traffic. Any of you from the Washington, D.C. area know exactly what I mean. <laughs> the traffic there is like on a whole different plane. And we know we're going to be sitting for a long time. My friends immediately, like, oh, man, this is terrible. I'm so angry. Blah, 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 blah. I'm like what are you doing? Why are you angry over something you literally have no control over? Well, now we're going to be late and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, just get on your phone. I'm driving. You text our friends, tell them we're going to be late because of traffic. There's nothing we can do about it. The only person you are affecting is in this car. Your attitude only affects yourself in this moment because I'm actually chill. So you're choosing to be, you know, angry over something you have no control over. I'm saying, wow, I got like an extra 10 or 20 minutes of me time. Whew, okay, I'm ready to relax and have fun. And for 10, 20 minutes, I don't have to think about anything. I don't have to look at my day timer. I don't have to plan anything. I can just relax and chill or I can plan out what's going to happen next. I can do whatever I want because I have received a gift of 10 to 20 minutes of me time. My friend's like, oh my God. I have always gotten angry at traffic and I'm angry at everyone around me because of traffic, because that's, you know, what I was taught to do. I've never thought about having any other reaction. So it was the first time ever that my friend that uh, decided to just relax and enjoy things that cannot be changed. And 
I thought that's really cool because it's our choice. You have so many moments in your life where your attitude is your choice. If everyone else chooses to be upset and honk their horns and scream and shout, that's their choice. So when you get into situations, look at attitude, gratitude, and action. And as you are manifesting, think about how much of what you want to change. Oh, I can't handle this anymore. I need it better. How much of this, if you change your attitude and think about what are you grateful for that you're not valuing? And what are you focusing on that's horrible that actually you could release that you don't need to carry it with you? This is a beginning ground. Like for me, I'm generally a hand to mouth person. I usually earn enough money to take care of my needs. I don't have a big savings account. I'm not a fancy person, but I'm really happy. I'm really happy with my life. Yes, I have stresses and anxieties and Believe me, I've got all the same life issues everyone else has. But I used to be a personal chef for millionaires and billionaires. And I saw a lot of really miserable families there. A lot of really stressed out, miserable, angry, rich people. So I know for a fact, the amount of money in your checking account is not what makes you happy or unhappy. It's how you choose to live your life. Now... It is stressful when you need something in order to accomplish your goals and that thing isn't there. But carrying anger, stress, terror is not what will help you through it. What will help you through it is attitude, gratitude, action. I promise you, I promise you, this is like the credo of my life. So I promise you. Take a look at things, anything in your life that you find frustrating or you'd like to switch and think about attitude, gratitude, action, and what do I do to have a different vision of what's happening, ergo a different path forward appearing before me. If you have any questions about this, feel welcome to put it in the comments section. Feel welcome to, you know, message me. If you have any anecdotes, feel welcome to share. And um, tomorrow I will uh, go outside and video from the outdoors so that um, you can see the beautiful Florida. It's so lovely here uh, before all the uh, leaf blowers and stuff happen. <laughs> have a wonderful day and remember to value yourself. Bye.